Getting started with the Data Video SE500 HD Video Switcher. The SE500 HD is a powerful 10-bit video switcher with a resolution of up to 1080p at 60 frames per second, a built-in audio mixer, and many other powerful features. In this tutorial, we will go over how to set up your SE500 HD and show you what every physical feature and software function does, so you can get the most out of your new switcher on your next production. First, let's go over the inputs and outputs of the SE500 HD. There are four HDMI inputs. You can connect video sources that are at a resolution of 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080, progressive or interlaced, at up to 59.94 or 60 frames per second. It is recommended that you always use two monitors with your SE500 HD, one for the multi-view and one for the program out. When you make transitions and effects, they will only be visible on the program out. And if you plan to do any graphics, PIP, or split screen effects in your live show, be sure to practice before you start your broadcast. To send your HDMI program out to both a monitor and a recording or streaming device, you can use an HDMI splitter. Continuing on the back of the unit, there is an ethernet port, a USB slot for firmware upgrades, and a tally output you can connect to a camera controller like the Data Video RMC180 or another tally system like the Data Video ITC100 intercom system. On the right, you can plug in your audio sources into the two mic inputs and RCA stereo input. The RCA stereo output provides a separate audio output. You can also embed the audio on the HDMI program output. Now, we will take a quick tour of the control panel. There is a preview and program bus, a menu button and menu navigation buttons, wipe settings buttons, transition setting buttons, user memories, and key functions, one row for PIP slash split and one row for Luma key. On the right, there are different options for transitions, which will take your preview selection to program. Cut will transition using a hard cut, Auto will enable a cross-dissolve between your preview and program selections, and the T-bar, or transition bar, will manually dissolve at a speed of your choosing. On the left of the control panel is the four-channel audio mixer. Starting from left to right, you will see channel 1 and 2, which control inputs for channel 1 and 2 quarter-inch microphone inputs on the back of the SE500 HD. The aux channel controls the RCA stereo input on the back of the switcher. And the fourth channel, digital, controls the embedded audio coming in on the HDMI video inputs of your switcher. In the menu settings, you can set the audio to follow which camera input is on program for the digital audio channel. Finally, on the far right, the master track will control the audio levels on the embedded audio of your video on the HDMI program out. If you need to add or decrease gain on your inputs, you can increase the levels. However, it is recommended that you begin adjusting your audio device first for the best results. Now that we have gone over all the physical controls, let's take a tour of the menu settings. To enter the menu, press the menu button. Under start, you will find options for altering the look and duration of your transitions. Next, in PIP slash split, you can change the settings for your picture-in-picture -picture and split-screen effects. PIP crop allows you to crop your PIP frame. Next, in Luma key, you can set your source and key settings to bring in graphics into your production. In the audio submenu, you can change how the SE500 HD interacts with your audio sources. Next, User Mems will allow you to load and save user memories, which will save and then recall your multi-view and keyer settings. Finally, under Setup, you can adjust the program out resolution, multi-view resolution, save setups, and check the firmware version of your SE500 HD. For more tutorials and helpful links, check out the links in the description of this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media for more tutorials and exciting new announcements from day to video.
Thanks for watching.